it's that time to do an epic chain clean. You can get the kit where it's got the degreaser and the chain lube and the funny looking brush. You've seen probably a few videos on how people do their chains. I'm just going to show you how I do mine with a twist. So I do use WD-40, one of the best cleaners around there to use. So let's go. Get the bike and lift it up. And the other thing is you can pretend to be a doctor as well at the same time. Now, I never used to wear gloves and that and just use clean my hands with degreaser. Now I just got too lazy to wash my hands and just use gloves, it's easy to. And you can give yourself an examination at the end. <laughs> Lube included. So what we want to do is we want to spin the chain and put the bike in neutral. Epic fail. This video is going to include a lot of bloopers. So, chain degreaser. Now one thing I haven't done, I haven't cleaned the bike at all. So I haven't washed the bike since doing the trip. What I want to do is, I want to get this stuff already working into all the crevices, even in where the chain guard is. And especially where the oil sits within the guard and the plastics. And all the grit, you'll see there's all grit in here, it's all grit in there. We want to dislodge it, we want to dislodge as much of the gunk before washing the bike. Okay. And I use WD-40 on this brush. Just keep spraying. Speed, speed the video up too, so you don't have to keep watching the repetition. Oops, bike stands get a bit cozy. Oh yeah, and get um, some um, of your mum's cleaning cloths from under the sink. She'll love it. When you, that's where you, you pinch these that she's been using. And you'll see a lot of the grit will just dislodge.
Zwölfer. I don't want to leave this stuff too long on the paint either. Now this is why I use the cloth. You want to get that chain completely clean. So by the time you've degreased it, it cleaned the chain, and then step two with the WD-40, it should pretty much remove the degreaser from the chain. And then the WD-40's cleaned it, cleaned it dry, and they'll be ready for preparation for the uh, chain lube to go on the chain. You don't want you don't want the chain lube to go on degreaser because it's just going to make a mess of your back tire. So by adding WD-40. This is gonna, that's that extra step. It's gonna make sure that you'll have less mess on the back of your rim. And you're gonna have a real shiny chain at the end of it. You keep, and you keep doing that, and you keep your chain in good nick. WD-40 is the best cleaner, hands down. After the degrees is sat on this side of the of the chain, the front sprocket, I want to add some WD-40 as well. Just be careful you don't jam your fingers in. Ideally, if you're that much of a perfectionist, you can take the chain off and then clean it in. But it depends on how dirty your bike is. If you keep up to date on the maintenance and do this after every, say, thousand kilometers or whatever, your bike will stay pretty good. So generally, I'll use two of these blue and white cloths, one for the rear sprocket and one for the front. You can still see it. The rear sprocket still gets that built up gunk. Sounds like brushing your teeth. You can call yourself a dentist after doing this. Add it to your resume. Okay, the next step, I'm going to wash the bike. Generally, I just do a bucket of suds, sponge the whole bike down. I'll rinse it first, but then sponge it down. And then we'll come back to the chain. And the next thing you'll see when I lube the chain. So, be right back. Another tip to get rid of the grease and the oil. A little bit of wheel cleaner around your rims. Let 
the sud soak in for a bit to help break, break down the grease. Don't be in a rush to um, wash it off too quick. I tend to use two of these cloths. When one gets real dirty, just then you're gonna interchange between them. So you're not putting dirt back on your bike. Tire leak. Well, I'm gonna have to get that fixed. Lucky I found that. If you get any rocks that bind with the engine casing, just use a skewer, little stick, just to get them off and remove it. That's one thing about this engine casing being open. A lot of um, road base tends to pick up and collect in all these pooled areas. Um, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. And you've got to try to dislodge them and then just hose them out. This one right here. Looks like we've got a bonus video. Tire tackle, tire repair kit. Step one, clean the hole. Ugh. Such a tight hole. <clears throat> First I'm gonna put it in the gear. Hopefully it binds. Up to adding the oil to the chain. This one's a fully synthetic. I do prefer the wax coating on a chain compared to this stuff, but this is what it's, we're gonna use today. Fun bit. He's gonna be trying to spin it. Whoa. There we go. Just make sure you don't get any on your rear tire, because then you'll be in trouble. And any excess, just wipe it. Now don't go right straight away. Let it just sit on the chain for a bit and just dry out. So then you don't, you'll minimize the mess on your back of your rim. 
and that's how we roll guys keep it upright ride safe and i'll see you on the flip side